Algernon here. Sean Donnelly, Algernon. Really? Calling from the colonies? I say, this is a bit of all right. How on earth did you find me in this pub? <laughs> I remember you telling me that the King's Arms was like a second home to you, so I decided to call you there. Mm, brilliant of you, old boy. Deucedly clever. Everything going swimmingly, I hope. Uh, not really, Algernon. You see, I've been trying to reconcile Holly and Robert, and I just think it's a shame they're separated. I quite agree with you, Sean. That will not do at all. It's too bad that Holly isn't in some kind of danger from someone like Basil, for example. Because if that were true, I'm sure Robert wouldn't waste a minute and find Alana to protect her. Yes, and then they'd probably get over their tiff once they were together. No, I'm sure of it. You know, Robert would drop everything if he thought Holly was in danger. Hold on, hold on, old chap. I think I've got rather a brilliant idea. Now, look, why don't I... Why don't I ring Robert and I'll tell him that Basil is on Holly's tail? <laughs> Algernon, that is a brilliant idea. Congratulations, my no, friend. Well, really, it's nothing, old man. <laughs> there, there is one problem, though. Oh? Now, I'm sure that uh, Robert will want to talk to Holly when he hears the news, so I think you'd better make sure that well, Holly is gone when you call Robert. Oh, that's, you do that? no, that's no problem, oh boy, because you see, Holly and Nana are at the races all day today. Oh, that's perfect, Algernon. <laughs> uh, believe me, it's in a good cause. Robert must go to London and save his marriage. Say no more, say no more, it shall be done. Bye bye. Scorpio. Uh, Robert, Algernon here. Algernon. This is a surprise. Are you calling from London? Uh, yes, I am. And, and I don't mean to alarm you, but there's something I feel you really ought to know. What? Holly has seen Basil on a London street. Was he following her? He could well have been. She wasn't sure, but I can tell you this. She's terribly worried about it. I see. Um, all right. Look, Algernon. I want you to call Scotland Yard for me at once, all right? <laughs> well, I, I can't very well do that, old oh man. I mean, um, what I mean to say is, is I sort of um, keep my distance from these Scotland Yard boys, if you know what I mean. You know, the less they see of me, the better they like it. <laughs> yeah, all right. Look, Algernon, I'll, uh, I'll take care of it from here. Good show, Robert, because I can tell you, I know Holly is extremely distressed. Thank you for calling. And don't mention it. Uh, operator. Yeah, look, I want to call um, uh, London. And no, I don't have the number. Uh, do you have a listing uh, that you can find for me, uh, name of McTavish? I want to call um, uh, Holly Scorpio. No, hang on, uh, change that. I'll uh, I'll talk to anybody that answers. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I understand. Look, just keep trying, will you? And uh, operator, call me the minute you make contact. This is urgent. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, operator. Yes, I do have a call into uh, Scotland Yard in London. Fine, put me through. Yeah. Uh, have you uh, located Inspector Hayworth yet? <sighs> I see. All right. Uh, look, uh, leave um, leave this message that I uh, that I'll call as soon as I get to London. That's uh, Robert Scorpio. S C O R P I O. Oh, and Sergeant, uh, did you check on the current? Of uh, Basil Durban? Yeah, I'll have one. Yeah. Durban's out on parole. You said. I see. All right, yes, look, I'm leaving for London right away. Look, please have an update for me when I get there. Thank you, Sergeant. Bye. Did I arrive at a bad time? Ah, uh, no. As you can see, I'm packed. I'm off to London. Uh, everything's fine. You're going to see Holly? Uh, yeah. Yes, I am. <laughs> uh, well, what's all this about? 
Come on, Robert. You and I have been friends a long time. Nobody had to tell me there were problems. Oh. I guess I get a little stiff upper lip at times. Well, it comes with the Australian accent. I guess. Anything I can do for you while you're gone? Maybe pry a little. Things that bad? Oh, well, mainly for Holly. I'm, uh, I'm worried about her. She took off kind of suddenly. She's staying with family? Uh, her nanny. Well, that's good. She used to talk about her all the time. Yeah. Two women alone in a London flat. Well, they'll have a lot to catch up on. When you see her, give her my love. Yeah, I'll do that. Tell her one thing, will you, Robert? Like what? You tell her that good men don't grow on trees, and once you get one, you gotta hang on to them, okay? Um... All right, you're blushing. Uh, that's right, that, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you're I'm, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed, but I'm not blushing. You're not used to compliments, that's I guess I've been a cop too long. I'm more used to complaints. You know what you are? You're exactly what you always accuse everyone else of being. Hmm? Real love. And you tell your wife, if she doesn't get on a plane and come back home with you, I will personally give her a very bad time. You just tell her that B.J. from Elm Street doesn't have red hair for nothing. I'll do that. Thanks for the kind words. One more thing, Robert, on how to handle a woman at a time like this. Oh, this I can use. <laughs> Tell her that you love her. That's it. Is there anything else that matters? You know, Elm Street people are pretty wise after all. All street people are pretty wise. You take care. You have a good flight. Thanks for the advice, darling. Uh, I guess I needed to see a friendly face about now and wasn't aware of it. Well, that's what I'm here for. You tell the lady what for after you kiss her. All right, love. we Will do. Love. <laughs> love. What's this? So I'm a love. All right, ladies. The line forms to the right. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, the shuttle from here to Kennedy. And then the next flight to London. Oh, look, if the Concorde's available, book me on it, will you? This is an emergency. Right. 